Okay, so, so let's just make the first card. This is a little stamp that has my name on it. And I stamp the back of the card. Stamp the back of the card with my name. That's the first thing I do. Right here. So there it is. Hand stamped by Diane Roberts. Probably can't see it too well. Oh no. It doesn't look good at all. Okay, the first thing I did was stamp the back of the card. Okay, it's got my name. So, we let that dry. And so that's the back, so here's the front. That's the back when you fold it in half. So the first thing we're going to do is glue on the two pieces for the uh, decoration of the front of the card. I like to use Tombow glue. Tombow multi-purpose multi glue. Kind of gets... It gives you like a little leeway when putting the cards together. If you just put um, double face tape, you don't have a chance to move it if you make a mistake. But this way I get to center the card and have a little bit of leeway. Center the first piece on. We put the green here. Then we're going to do the same with the white. A little glue. Not a heck of a lot. Holds pretty well. Let's see how I'm not really putting it down. I keep adjusting it so that it's straight and has like an eighth of an inch border. Sometimes on camera it doesn't look real straight, but they are straight in person. Ha ha ha! You just have to believe me for that one, right? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the inside of the card. Here's the outside of the card. We're going to put a piece of white on the inside with a greeting. So, we're going to, first we're going to put, let's show you this. Okay, we're going to use red and green. First we'll put some little holly berries in the corner like so then we're going to take a holly leaf in the green and stick that right in there so there's a little holly sprig and then we're going to take the red well, let me explain what this is these are stamps this is a Christmas stamp set from Stampin' Up. I happen to be a Stampin' Up demonstrator. I sell these products, but I really don't because no one buys from me, but I buy the stuff myself. So this is called um, Christmas Classics, and you get different different sentiments like Happy Merry Wishes Holidays to you and yours. And uh, so we will do, we're going to put Merry Christmas on the top. I've got a red. Oh, and what they are is photopolymer. These stamps are what they call photopolymer um, to you and yours. Maybe we'll say Merry Christmas to you and yours. Here's one. As you can see, it's just a little, little photopolymer stamp to you and yours. And you stick it on a acrylic block. Stamp it in the ink. So let's do Christmas right about here straight up straight down Christmas and I want to put a little green Merry on top of it let's put Merry right here Merry so it says Merry Christmas and we could use to you and yours I'm gonna go get another block well I can just take the Merry off so that I can demonstrate this to you right now without going to get another. You stick the acrylic block down and put the put the letters on it. Stamp it in the green and do to you and yours right here. And then you have a place to sign. So we let that dry a bit. 
make sure that see this is what I have to do make sure there's no ink on your fingers and then you turn your card over put the glue on it and that's going to be the inside of your card okay but while I'm here and have the glue we'll let this dry so that I don't muss it up when I put this here I'm going to decorate the front side now oh I need the do I have a seat? Yeah, I want to use Season's Greetings. Did I take that one out? Here it is. You get a Season's Greetings. Season's Greetings. Can I fit that on here? I have a block here. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it because, no, it's not big enough. Let me get a bigger block. Alright. Here's a bigger block. And some of these acrylic blocks have a grid line on them that makes it easier to get your letters straight. But looking at it, you usually can tell. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of this type of paper. This is a decorative paper, a, a, a seasonal decorative paper. I'm going to put right about there. And then I'm going to put a little cutout that I, let's bring this out a little so you can see it better. There we go. Then I have a little cutout that's going to go right about there. Okay. Then I have I want this to be more balanced. I'm going to put that there and this about here. Like that. And then take one of these white pieces. That's not the white piece. <laughs> That's a scrap. <laughs> Here's a white piece. That's going to go right in here. And we're going to stamp this with Season's Greetings. So let me get this stuff out of the way. Here's another one to stamp. In the red, we're going to use Season's Greetings because I think the red looks good. I could have done green, but whoa, I got excess ink on this acrylic block, so I'll be careful. See if we can do it right. Season's Greetings, straight down, straight up. All right, looks good. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a bit. And while that's drying, we're going to do some gluing. But first I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, I'm back the same day. We're going to glue these into, glue these in place with the Tombow. The Tombow glue on the back. This is two-sided paper. Okay, I'm going to put this right about here. Let's put it this way. Not that anyone's really going to notice, but I'll put it right here. Okay, then this, I am going to glue this on first. Got it, went a little heavy on the glue there. Let's see if I can spread it out. Okay, I've got this little cutout piece that I cut out from these dies that come come with the stamp set. We'll put Seasons Greetings right in the middle there. Okay. And now what we're going to do, instead of just gluing this onto the card, I'm going to give it a little height by putting what we call dimensionals on it. Just these little pieces of foam that um, when you affix them to the back of a design and stick it on the card, it gives it a little bit of height, a little bit of dimension. Hence, they are called dimensionals from by Stampin' Up. If anyone wants to buy any Stampin' Up products, you can always let me know. And I have a catalog. And if you want details on this design, this is not my design. I am casing this card from Connie Stewart on simple, Simply Simple Stamping. Let's put this right about here. Now we have a little bit of uh, height on our card. So 
So we have this, and then we take this and we glue the back. This on the inside. Center it best I can. Boop, 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 boop. And there you have it. There's a Christmas card. All right, I like it. I like the design. I like the way it came out. This is how I'm going to make them. However, <laughs> I'm not going to do it one piece by one piece because, you know, it'll just be nuts. So what I do now is I do assembly line. I'm going to take all my pieces. I'll be taking all the backs, stamp the backs, make all the centers, glue in the centers, glue all the front pieces on, stamp everything that needs to be stamped. So that's how you make Christmas cards at Christmas, especially when it's the 17th of December and you haven't started yet. So I'm off to make my cards. Some of them are going to be different, but the, a lot of them are going to be like this. I'm making about 25 cards. I'll see you, I'll see you later <laughs> when we're done, I hope. Okay, now some finishing touches. As you can see, I put a little knotted bow, the red and polka dot gold bow. And I have a product called Pearlized Enamel Effects. And it looks pink, but I tried it out and I think it looks, can you see that? Can you see that? I think it looks close enough to red to fill in these little green berry areas. Just a little drop will do it. I don't want to make them too thick because I do want this stuff to dry. So just put a little, little bit to dress up the berries. And then these up here. I think it looks good. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. So that's the it. That's the little dress up. So now I'm off to my assembly line card production for 2023. Well, I finished. Well, sorta. <laughs> I have to put all these little bows on right now but I'm gonna go sit in the other room because I've crowded myself out of this workroom because my table's full of cards and of course this it's a very it's not nighttime believe it or not it's daytime it's just very dreary out there today it's the sev it's the 18th of December I've never mailed my cards this late this is my wonderful cup of tea it's a combination of um, vanilla chai and salted caramel with frothed milk. It's my favorite. I didn't even have to go to Starbucks for it. I make it here. Oh, I got one that I didn't finish. Okay, one more. Now I'm going to take this ribbon, make all the bows, and put it on. But just wanted to let you know they're going out in the mail today. I just hope people get them by the 25th. I'm going to stamp a little um, Happy New Year thing on the back in case it comes after Christmas. So we had this style and we had this style and we had this one with a bow. Let's see. One with a bow for the other style. This style. And they have uh, you saw me make one anyway. You know what they look like. So they're done. The next step now is to write them and address the envelopes. All right. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.